Okay. We hope we have some people here today. We'll see what happens, especially now that we're not real regular, but I did put it out there that we were going to be live. So hopefully we get some of our friends joining us today. Uh, it's gonna be a short video. We don't really have a whole lot, but we missed you guys. So we figured we would hop on and say hello and kind of show you what we've been working on. Um, I couldn't choose a unicorn because all my unicorns are in the bonus room. And I only had one down here, but she's really big. But so what do we have? This one is Princess. It used to be Keith, then she gave it to me. It has a little, it has little bows on its ears. And more than that, look what Princess is. She's a little purse. She's a little purse. Exactly. We also have a webkin that's also named Princess that looks the exact same. What's a webkin? A webkin used to and be... And it's Lila. And that's Lila? Yeah, so now webkins were animals that they used to have that you could log on to computer. Hey Maria, it's so good to see you too. You guys are getting ready for bed way over there. Really? It's, yeah, they're in Scotland. It's 8 o'clock over there already for them. That's big. She might not be able to stay. Well, we're not going to be here for very long. We've got we've got a ton oh, on our hi, plate. Oh, ten people watching. <laughs> hey, Sue Ellen, welcome back. Thanks for the heights. I know it's been fun. Oh, oh, so show them, show them my piece. Okay, I will. We lost two out of the five years. Yeah, I don't know what happened to those. I don't either. know where you put them. We'll have to look well, for those. Well, either they're over here or they're over on my desk. But they're not. Aloha, Paula, and hi, Misty. <laughs> Maria says she can stay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> She's not going nice. to bed quite yet. Yay. Aw, yeah. Louise. It's good to see you guys too. I know it's been so weird to not do the videos every day. We've been trying to get into the studio, at least have the girls in here, but we our plates have been so full and I, with things that we just haven't. So we've been in the studio. I guess I've been in here about four or five times. I had five unicorns, but I lost two. So right now I only have three. Yeah, What's so let me that? show you what, so there's a fairy, a, fairy, a unicorn, mermaid. and a mermaid. Mm -hmm. For a second, I didn't realize that because I'm far away, kind of. <laughs> and as you guys have seen, I now have more videos coming out again, and I'm probably going to hit a few of the projects that we did with the girls. There'll be a simplified version of those, uh, and then also some of the projects that the girls worked on are going to be turned into online workshops. So, Louise, I think her unicorns might have run away. <laughs> we can't find them. We're missing two. Two of uh, They oh. went back to Unicorn Land. Yeah. Unicorn Land, is that where they come from? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the Unicorn Land. Yeah, so we'll have to find those. But let me do, I will show you guys really quickly what the girls have been working on. Uh, this is the first unicorn I did. This one is the second, and then this one is the fifth. So I'm missing third and fourth. You broke three blades on this one. I did? Yes. <laughs> Kiari ran out of her good luck streak of not breaking blades. <laughs> uh, was it the second one? Yeah. It the was, second and the... It was or, this one that I didn't break the blade. I think that is the correct... That is the one that I... That's your one? I know. That's the one that you got 20 bucks for. And I was going to say, if you didn't break the blade on the entire thing, you should have asked if you could got 40. Oh, no. 20 is more than plenty. But yeah, guess but 40 what? For, the, for five... Things. How many blades have you broken? Do you know? No. Did you break any today? Mm -mm. Sawing out your little box? So here's the other thing that the girls Wait, and I have how started. Many have I broken the entire time I've been doing? This? No. No. Who, or how many have I broken? made this Just one? Just recently. Maybe yep. three, but the one pack that I had I think was bad. <laughs> So welcome back, Rita and Alice. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you too, Susan. So here's um, what the girls have been working on. We we started their box pendants, and originally... Do you like the unicorn? <laughs> of course they unicorn. like it. Hi, yeah. Bobby. This height, because I made this height. Yes. Oh, no doubt. Kiari is pretty good at sawing, but I think she went through like four or five blades today, <laughs> too. So I think... Oh, no, I think like, it was three blades. <laughs> Only three? Stupid Are you sure? Not three. Oh, I think it was more than three. I changed three of them, and I made you change the other two. 
So you broke at least five today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I know. Sue Ellen, I have sneezed before too. Matter of fact, oh, it's kind of funny. Unicorns. So I I had another I'm student. I'm glad you like the unicorn. I had another student here in the studio. She comes uh, twice a week. And so there was another student in here today. And she finished piercing out some of hers. Right. And she pierced out a little heart in the middle of, well, of the top piece. Hang on just a second. A hey, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking. Okay. So anyway, so she pierced out a little heart in the middle of her piece, which of course means that you have to, you know, take the saw blade off and then thread it through the piece. Well, after she got done, she went ahead and threaded it back on and hung it up on the hook. I've got these little hooks on the sides of the bench uh, for each student. And so she hung the saw back up and we were doing something else. And all of a sudden you hear this boing, and we were both like, what was that? And I said, did your saw break to the bra blade, saw blade just break? And sure enough, she did. So, mm -mm. no, Emma's did. Uh -huh. So you, you know, there's a fine line between too loose and too tight. If you make your tension too tight on your blades, they're going to break. Yeah, it'll be like, yeah, I can't move, boom. <laughs> and then on too loose ones, it'll be like, Whoa. <laughs> but yes, I have sneezed before too and broken blades. <laughs> So, That's Sue Ellen, you're not alone, <laughs> for sure. That's how you just got <laughs> So Paula yeah. says that your unicorns are beautiful, and Diane says she loves them too. <laughs> and Missy, having Thank a you. bad batch of blades is a real thing. You know, some people will just think that they that are thing? crappy with soldering or sawing or something like that. Sometimes it's the blade. I'm pretty decent at sawing and I had a couple batches and no matter what I would do, it would veer in or it would veer out or the blade no, would had... stretch. It was so no, weird. And they were supposed really to be good blades too. You did have a batch. That's why I had you yeah. throw that batch away. <laughs> because you did have a bad batch. They were really weird. Because they like kept coming right. and I'm like, okay, go straight and I was <laughs> going like that. It's like, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let me come back down and show you guys what we were doing. So we were originally... <laughs> No, you, let me talk. Just a Yo, sec. That. <laughs> yes, this one is Kiari's, uh, and she's doing pretty good. I've helped a little bit on Kiari's. Oh, I've helped Kiari a lot more than I have helped Kate. Kate's been doing pretty good. Um, but so Kiari and I, we formed the heart shape, and we did this by we actually used uh, the Peppy Tools ring bender to do this to get these little humps on the heart so that they were even. And so this is my pendant, this is Kiari's. And today, on the left. yeah, so the other day they soldered everything together so that we had at least the outline of our boxes. So we had that going. And then today they soldered it onto the back plate. We went to solder mine and then this, where is it? Oh, your seam? Yeah, your seam this opened up. Did yeah, Kate's seam it? opened up. Yeah, we did. See, look. I mean, it's not perfect yet, so there's right. still some work that needs to be done on it. Yeah, or we're just going to use that as an embellishment and we'll figure something out on that. But yeah, her seam totally opened up when we were soldering it onto the back plate. So then once they had it soldered on the back plate, they each cut out. And you guys will never guess what Kate did today. She did a lot of filing. A lot <laughs> and she did a really good job she tried we to get me to do it in. and I told her she couldn't pay me enough because I had enough other things on my plate so we that she had, had to do it on. she did I told her to go get her headphones and put those on guess what it's soundproof headphones. Glenda said that she now has a studio so congratulations Glenda that's this awesome is one of the pencils that I got in like kindergarten <laughs> Mama, you know okay hello squirrel <laughs> I was just you know, saying, Mr. Squirrel, squirrel. proof headphones so that I can actually soundproof yeah. headphones. Yeah. You, you can try mine. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you borrow some of mine. But yeah, so Kate did a really good job today. And then um, once they got this done, they I have a belt sander. So I made him get it pretty close with the jeweler saw and then the file. And you know that that will get you pretty quick going, oh, I think maybe I need to saw it down closer to that part because then you don't have to file as much and you don't have to sand as much. But then each of the girls took it to the polishing wheel or I've got a polishing arbor well, where I we have, yeah, I did do that part that for part, you. That part would be dangerous for me. 
It would be, but you know what? Yeah, I think you could do it. I could. I think so. It would be dangerous. Well, you're still going to learn here pretty quick. Yeah. But anyway, so that's kind of where we are. When we were talking about the box pendant, because the girls have definitely been in here on Fridays when my student Emma is in here, and Emma wanted to make hers. She's making a coffin, and it is the cutest coffin. She's a teenager. So, you know, we all go through that stage when we're teenagers where we're kind of like, Woohoo, death. So, <laughs> so anyway, so Emma did this darling, darling Do coffin like and it's cake? it's actually quite she's young. complex. Well she's in her teens and she doesn't like death. No, not everybody does. Not but all teenagers. Every now and then people go kawaii. through kind of a goth stage and you know, I am more of the kawaii child. <laughs> kawaii child? A kawaii child? I would like more of the kawaii stuff. Kawaii, what's that? Or like... The cute, cute stuff. Oh, cute stuff. Um, they call it kawaii? Like baby unicorns! Some stuff is known as kawaii, so and at kawaii Cos is very cute. Okay. At, at Sam's Club, I know... I learned something new today. <laughs> I know this is... I know this is a scroll, but... Um, <laughs> at Sam's Club, Mommy bought me a new lunchbox. And you'll never and guess like, what is on that lunchbox. A baby unicorn! And she's really With happy that I found it. I thought you were going to forget about it. I can't. It's so adorable! Anyway, welcome, Tom. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> Maria, there's still a touch of goth in my eyes. stuff, too, and I'm, I'll be 44 next week, so I haven't don't totally don't grown out of it 13. yet. <laughs> I'll be 13. You don't tell me no, you're a real age. <laughs> well, Sue Ellen, I knew that Kauai is an island on Hawaii, but the way that she was talking about it, it didn't seem like, like it was the same it thing. It sounded like Hawaii. It did sound like Hawaii, huh? <laughs> hey, look what Tom just sent you. He sent you a whole bunch of unicorns. <laughs> Thank you. So, but anyway, so this coffin that we're doing is kind of awesome. So she's, do you want to go get it for me? It's in her, it's in the bottom drawer in her bench. I'll show it to you guys really fast. And if her mom is watching, then her mom can see it too. Cause we've been taking pictures all along. But anyway, so she wanted it to open, which meant of course, instead of just doing a box pendant, we needed to do hinges. So we are almost are ready. Cute? to do the hinges, right. So this, this is her, her the, out, the outline of her box. Actually, let me pull it down here. We'll do it over here. So anyway, so this is the outline today, or let's see, I think the other day we got it soldered onto the back plate and she got it all cut out. Obviously we haven't done anything oh, to clean up the inside yet. Funny faces. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki has your number, dude. She knows. She knows you're full of squirrels. <laughs> but anyway, so this. I don't have a phone number. Maybe she's a dog. Yeah. I don't have. Okay. So this is actually. Dog check dog. this out, guys. This is the back side. Look at the front. Look at this. Is that not so cool? And <gasps> yes. And Emma is new. Emma's new to doing metal smithing, and she's done a few little things. Like she already, she's made a couple of little things with a torch and whatever, but so she's pretty new and it's just so kind of fun cute. to see how she's doing so all of this. But we're going to be soldering on three little tube settings so down cute. the front. Inside, adorable. we're going to do a layer of, today we just decided we're gonna do a layer of black resin and then she has butterfly wings. And um, and then she has this amazing stone and it's ah, so, sulfur, right? I can't even remember the name of it, but it is this beautiful yellow stone. Um, actually, go get it. It's in the bottom of her drawer too. So it's just in that little uh, plastic container. It's in there. I so hang on just a second. So what we had to do is because her stone, I think was like, it was an odd shape. So we had to create a bezel for it. Yep, that's it. Bring that over. So one time I asked Kate, if there's puppies as small Thank as you. this puppy thing, and Probably. she said yes. Probably. Yeah. yeah. So check out this stone. Something. Is it saffrodite? I don't think it's saffrodite. Um, it's almost like it's, yellowy. It's far, far sphalerite. S P H A L E R I T E. Sphalerite. There we go. But yeah, so it's this gorgeous yellow. I mean, it's a very, very included stone, which means it's going to be super fragile when it comes to setting the stone. But she's got this black and white butterfly wing, and it's got yellow tips. 
uh, that we'll put in here into the back and then the stone and so we've had to create the bezel it's going to be a stepped bezel we just barely finished it right before she had to leave so it hasn't been soldered in yet but it will sit below the little butterfly wing down here so up a little bit but it's it's turning out really really cool Arlena welcome so but yeah so anyway that's kind of what she's working on so our next our next steps are we need to kind of clean up the it's inside of the box. It is a real butterfly wing. Because they yeah. might have died or somebody killed them. Isn't that cool? But she didn't kill them. It's such a fun piece. She just found the wings and picked them up. <laughs> well, actually, she bought the wings. Yeah, she bought them. Here you go. If you'll go put those back in her drawer. Thank you. So it's been kind of fun. But like I said, that's kind of what led to the fact that now yeah, we need to do hinges. So now that the girls have... They've got the bottoms of their boxes that are ready to go. Next, we're going to start doing the tops. And they are going, both of them, well, I don't know, Kiari, we haven't quite decided what Kiari is going to do, whether we're going to cut out a shape or if we're going to do something else. Kate um, was looking at some of my impression dies by Jim Brandvik. And so I think we're going to try some of the impression Who's dies. Jim Brandvik? He's another jeweler and somebody who makes tools. Is he a blacksmith or a metalsmith? He's a metalsmith. What? I think I've been kicked off the screen. Oh, you have... Well, here. <laughs> Come on over. You have a friend. Here, squish. <laughs> yeah. yep. You have a friend that's a blacksmith. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, I will be sure to show you some different pictures. Diane, the scalloped edge, I actually have some bracelet... Uh, bracelet dies or wire dies, wire bending dies. And so we use those a lot. And that's something that I will be showing in my upcoming cuff workshop. So I, think I didn't get enough sleep. It's something that is coming I'm on tired. that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I promise you guys, I will definitely show you when we get her piece finished because we'll definitely take some good glamour shots and we'll probably even put together kind of like a little slideshow of the process of her creating it. It's really been kind of fun to watch. Gordo, it's good to see you back too. So, like I said, it's not going to be a regular thing yet. We just, I don't have the time right now to do it. I'm so far behind on everything. Um, but I do have some more videos coming up. There's one that I need to finish filming up today showing you some different chain uh, chains and how I pick a chain and how I order those. So that's some things that are coming. I know Kate is a good big sister, isn't she? What, are you tired, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so you don't want to go play with Athena? I do. Oh yeah, you'll have your you'll have your energy back by then. Probably. 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 Maybe not. Maybe you should just leave her here. No, <laughs> Bobby. Bobby says that's the first time Kate has jumped on screen. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've actually had a little bit of progress with some of the treatments, we, we hope. We, Kate and I were talking about last night, and she goes, Mom, don't you dare jinx it. <laughs> so I guess so we won't talk about it too much, but I have to say we are starting to see this a little more than the other. So that's all I will then say. The other if you what? jinx it and I have a headache or a bad headache while we are camping, <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> You can't have a headache while we go camping. I'm still so. blaming you if I have one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so, yeah, so the next part that the girls need to do is we are going to be doing the tops and then creating those hinges. And hinges are not fun, but we're going to do it anyway. And then when we're done later in the summer, I want to make, like, a little box that I can use in my American Girl stop motion. Yeah, so Kiari or Kate wants to make a little larger box. Which now you have the technique, right? So I'll have to show you the box. Let me go see if I have, I have a box that I made. Let me see if I have it in here. Next stop motion, hopefully soon. And then, I need to know what the little rooms made first so that I can actually do the stop motion. You have to make rings? Rooms. Oh, rooms. So that the dolls can actually stand up and then I can film them in. Oh, I see. Okay, this is my very first box that I ever made, and I even whoa, pretty! Isn't that kind of fun? That all out of metal. So yeah, it, it is. Looks like a this is a laundry basket for dolls. <laughs> a laundry basket for dolls. Doesn't so it? no, this is uh, my box, and it's got a very very subtle design yeah, on the top. That. Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's actually with uh, it's really some pretty. colored pencils. 
So there's a technique that you, you can do. Pencils or watercolored? Mm -mm, just color pencils. So there was a technique Will that. Those come uh, off? No, it shouldn't. I mean, I guess it could if you're not careful. But then I even flocked Ooh, on the fluffy. inside. How did you make it so fluffy? So there's something called What's flock. That's so fluffy, but it's okay, and it's just these little tiny. What's it's just it? these little. Hang on, I'm trying to tell you. It's little tiny fibers. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you put glue all over the surface of where you want that flocking to be. I do I make it with little bits of chewed up yarn and then apply it to the doll's head. There you go. Chewed up yarn. Chewed up yarn. Chewed up yarn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, there's all my little... Not my dragon doll. How would people chew yarn? I have my little treasures in there. <laughs> but anyway, that was my first one and I've got... Um, on this one, I made three large tube pieces. So this is kind of what we're going to be creating, girls. We're going to create not quite that big, but we are going to put it on the edge of your piece. Probably not on this one. Yeah, so probably not on that. But anyway, so that's what we've been working on. And we thought we would at least check in and say hello and let you guys know that we miss you. Hi. Can we do we miss you. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have the time right now to go back to normal. Not like, not like we were. I just don't have the time for that right now. But maybe, maybe in, um, I don't know, because I've got... I, I'm kind of excited. I've got a couple trips coming up. I've yesterday I just booked my flight and my car rental. Wait, I'm thought, going to I Kansas. We did it at one forty-five. Yeah, but not today because we wanted to throw we wanted to throw scum people off. We didn't want to do it at our normal time in case scummy people came back. Mm. And plus that, and we have other places that we have to be at one forty-five. So, but anyway, so I'm headed Wait, back over to GRS. Let me talk. <laughs> Good heavens. Mm. So, Spackle. um, I'm headed Spackle. to GRS at the kind of like, I guess towards the end of July and I'm going to be doing, um, uh, an advanced stone setting with Blaine Lewis. So I'm kind of excited about that and it's going to be over there at GRS in the middle of nowhere, Kansas. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I think it's going to be fun and maybe, well, no, I was going to say maybe we won't have these done, but we'll have these done before then. I was like, maybe I could show you guys some advanced stone setting techniques, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, Sue Ellen, I have not yet done a video on boxes, but yes, that is one of the, the courses that I have kind of on my schedule is to do whether we, you know, and maybe, I don't know, throwing out it's like a little brain dump here but like we could even uh-huh we could even do like multiple projects so we could do like a box ring a box pendant and then even just a box what's a brain dump a brain dump is when you just talk about anything that comes in your head it's full of squirrels like you <laughs> so yeah so i actually went to grs for the first time back in october of this last year so i did i did a basic stone setting class with ron finch which was phenomenal it was so much fun and then i did a basic uh engraving class so that was a lot of fun too so i'm really excited to go back again and when i'm there i will do a live video uh, while I'm there at GRS too. So keep, you know, stay tuned for that. I'll definitely post because I always do live videos when I'm there at GRS. It's so much fun. I love that place. Um, aw, thank you, Glenda. I know you're sad. And you guys, I wanted to thank you guys so much too. Everybody was so supportive. I mean, I know that everybody was kind of sad that I took all the videos down and everything, but nobody was nasty about it. Nobody complained too much, and I really appreciate that. So thank you. Oh, Louise, I have too many squirrels, and then I have an extra squirrel bringer in her. <laughs> this is yeah. why we have a trampoline in the backyard. Bing, bing, bing. Yes, so they can run outside for sure. I think I got it. Yes, I think so. One backhand <laughs> What's that? And do two million and one backhand Yeah, so, you know, while we've been off the air, Kate and Kiari have been out doing all they've been putting together like air? dance routines yeah we're not off the air we're breathing air <laughs> <laughs> no that means like you're in your broadcasting oh off of your movie stuff yes day 61 really like no today's 62 oh kate didn't change it <gasps> I didn't change it because you were so <laughs> Yeah, Kate didn't change it. Today would actually be day 62 of our videos. Yeah, I didn't well, change it because you were the one who went, went Who put tape page. on my bench? I don't know. I've noticed. 
notice that there for a while. <laughs> well, it's where you usually sit. See, but you put it there originally. <laughs> you had had it there. <laughs> like that. So. You would actually put it there. Mmm. Whatever. Anyway, guys, we've got to go. We have um, we have another appointment, but we have things coming up. So stay tuned. We'll next week we're going. Yeah, next week we're going to be camping, and maybe if while we're camping, if we've got a signal, because I think where we're going has a signal, and if my phone has enough charge, maybe we'll pop on for a live video or something real fast. Wouldn't that be fun? You could show them how to cook something. Mama. Maybe on my birthday. Maybe eggs, you can show them how to make eggs, a banana boat. Eggs, 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 eggs. You can show them how to make <gasps> a banana boat. I can show them how to make yummy, 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 yummy s'mores. Oh, and I can show them how to make <laughs> starburst, starburst sandwiches <laughs> and yummy stuff. Yeah. Maybe we could hop on my birthday and say hi to them. <gasps> there you go. True! Yeah, we've got a we've got lots of July birthdays. Yeah, we got three. We got a yep. three to go five. to today. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for jumping on. And like I said, as we get these finished up, we will show you guys. We probably won't finish I it next week because we're going to be camping. But um, poor dad. Dad and Riley don't get to go. It's just going to be the three of us. What? They're going to come up like on my birthday. <gasps> Yay! I, I thought they were just coming up later. I don't know. I don't know. I think dad might come up for a couple nights, but otherwise it'll be the three of us. Hmm. Camping alone. <laughs> so anyway, See, my dad is telling because he's the one who likes going camping. Oh, oh, I know he's got to work. Guys. So lame. Yes. Um, I, I can. Um, so um. Yes. Because I have my cello, we made it to do so like we can do songs now. And I did Mary had a little one, but it doesn't sound like Mary had a little one. Because all we do is E's, F's, and D's. Yep, it'll come. But soon it will sound like it. It'll come. Yep, you'll get it. We'll all right, new. but like I said, I'll keep you guys posted when we get this done. And then once the girls are finished with their pendants, because I've been taking photos as we've gone along and videos, we'll put together a little compilation of how they make their boxes. So <laughs> we'll be in touch, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and Bye, we'll everybody. see you guys. If not next week, maybe we'll pop in the next week after that. Have so. a happy unicorn weekend. Six weeks. Six or weeks? Eight and a half weeks. We'll have what? a happy, have <laughs> a happy cool. unicorn rest of the summer. Seven weeks. Seven weeks is when school starts. Seven and a half weeks. Yeah, seven and a half. Bye. Have Better a happy start. unicorn summer. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Thanks Bye. for checking in with us. Have a happy mythical creature summer. <laughs> Bye.